Assalamualaikum and hi guys. So welcome to chapter 6 which is about benzene and its derivatives. Basically chapter 6 have three subtopics which is 6.1, 6.2 and 6.3. But in this video I'm going to explain about 6.1 which is introduction to the benzene and its derivatives. Okay, so basically benzene adalah aromatic compound yang cyclic planar, completely conjugated. Kenapa completely conjugated? Because you can see here, this is the benzene structure. Setiap ni selang-seli ada double bond ya. Sebab tu dah dia completely conjugated. And dia obese Huckel's rules with 4N plus 2 pi electrons which is N must be equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Um, this one you tak perlu tahu sangat lah details about this ya. So, aromatic compounds ni, the kind of chemical reaction yang dia undergoes adalah electrophilic substitution reaction ok so basically uh, kenapa dia dikenali uh, dia punya type of reaction dia yang dia boleh buat adalah electrophilic substitution reaction because uh, dekat this benzene dia kan ada double bond kan? Uh, and then uh, dia adalah nucleophile, dia ada nucleophilic side ok sebab dia kaya uh, we have discussed nucleophilic site ada dua which is carbon-carbon double bond and also uh, benzene ring. Okay. Uh, tapi dia boleh buat substitution reaction di mana uh, kita akan substitute any of the hydrogen here with anything lah with the reagent yang kita akan react nanti. Since that dia adalah nucleophilic site makanya reagent yang dia akan gunakan Okay, sebab dia ada nucleophilic site. Okay, makanya pasangan dia will be uh, electrophilic reagent. Faham? Uh, sebab kan dia punya reagent will be the electrophilic reagent. That's why lah the type, the type of the reaction yang dia boleh buat adalah electrophilic substitution reaction. Okay, and then dia ada uh, molecular formula of C6H6. Okay. Ada enam carbon and also enam hydrogen. Okay. So, here are the requirements for aromaticity. Okay. As long as kalau you nampak ada bentuk hexagon macam ni. Cyclic, planar, obese, Huckel's rule. Okay. And then ada selang-seli, double bond macam ni. That means dia adalah completely conjugated. And also, dia ada uninterrupted cloud of delocalized by electron. Uh, itulah dia aromatic ring. Okay. So, here's the cuculus structure for benzene. It's completely conjugated. Uh, apa maksud completely conjugated? Uh, Kerana dekat selang ni, uh, selang satu ni ada double bond. Okay. Lepas tu, dia ada uninterrupted cloud of delocalized by electrons. And here are some of the examples of aromatic compound. This is benzene. Okay, kalau aromatic compound ni uh, sama ada you boleh lukis dia macam ni selang seli double bond ataupun you buat uh, bentuk hexagon macam ni kat dalam ni buat circle tapi I lagi prefer you draw benzene macam ni sebab nanti bila you nak buat uh, mechanism you need to show the double bond okay so better buat this kind of structure alright um, and then uh uh, this is azulin. Azulin ni bila kita gabungkan dua benzene, naphthalin uh, and then lastly is benzaldehyde. Bila benzene ring ada uh, attached to the functional group aldehyde C double bond OH. Okay, do you still remember CHO ni adalah singkatan untuk apa? Untuk C double bond OH. Okay. Okay, for further explanation about calculus structure, this is how it looks like. It's basically a six-membered ring, hexagon, bentuk hexagon dengan ada satu hydrogen attached to each carbon atom. So, as you can see here, dekat setiap bucu ni, okay, kita ada carbon atom. Ya, yeah, kita ada carbon atom. Lepas tu, kita tahu carbon atom ni, dia wajib uh, kena ada empat covalent bond. Since that, uh, dia punya double bond ni berselang-seli. We know that this carbon atom ada 3 covalent bond. 
setiap carbon atom kat sini semua ada tiga covalent bond kalau you kira. Okay, lepas tu that's why at each of this carbon atom, we know that dia akan ada uh, satu hydrogen because okay, dia nak lengkapkan keempat uh, um, covalent bond yang keempat tu therefore, uh, semualah uh, carbon yang dekat uh, benzene ring ni ada satu saja hydrogen atom. Okay, Lepas tu, uh, since that each of this carbon adalah sp2 carbon, how do you know that this is an sp2 carbon? Because this carbon atom, okay, dia ada, uh, apa tu, this carbon atom ada uh, pi bond and ada sigma bond. Okay, ada dua sigma bond and satu pi bond. So, that's why they sp2 carbon, alright? And we know that sp2 carbon, the bond angle is 120 degree. And it contains two structures in equilibrium and it cannot be separated. Kirinya, uh, they will in equilibrium with this kind of structure juga. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, kenapa di equilibrium? Because uh, dia punya double bond ni, uh, bila dia localize, dia ubah kedudukan, uh, dia jadi macam ni. Okay. Uh, and calculus structure ni uh, adalah hexagon yang di mana dia akan ada tiga Carbon-carbon single bond, you can see here, 1, 2, 3 carbon-carbon uh, single bond and juga 3 carbon-carbon double bond. 1, 2, 3 carbon-carbon double bonds. Okay. And next, how about the resonance structure? Okay, resonance structure. Benzene ni actually, dia adalah resonance hybrid of the two calculus structures. This is two calculus structures, okay. Uh, and all of the, bila dia buat resonance structure, uh, structure the all of the carbon-carbon single bond lengths will be equal. And the intermediate between the single and double bond spoon can be shown here. Okay, macam mana you know about resonance? Basically, kalau let's say you tengok this calculus structure, okay. Uh, dia punya double bond kat sini kedudukan dia kan. Tapi bila dia in resonance, dia ubah kedudukan uh, double bond tersebut. Uh, ni dia move to here. Okay, uh, macam double bond kat sini, dia move kat sini pula. Macam double bond kat sini, dia move dekat uh, sini pula. Okay, uh, so inilah dia resonance structure. Okay, uh, but I disagree if let's say you buat in equivalent with this one. Okay. Uh, just you refer to any saja. 